guys welcome back to the channel it's uncle frank and today we're going to be going over how to fix the animal respawn issue in red dead redemption 2. now as you guys know if you played the beta we'd be spawning in and we'd have animals everywhere you know snow white standing in a field birds landing on your shoulders singing songs type thing now when we're logging in we're riding around for 20 30 minutes and you haven't seen a striped skunk haven't seen a muskrat haven't seen a white-tailed deer haven't seen anything right this is going to be an immediate fix for you guys to be able to respawn all the animals into a server and actually increase the respawn rate of the animals because you're going to be in these servers alone or with a small group of friends. So guys, what we're going to want to do is just go to any bounty board. And you're going to have two options to get to the bounty board. Obviously, you can do a legendary bounty or you can do a regular bounty. We want to stick to doing the regular bounties. Both of these will launch you into a private server. The legendary will 100% of the time. These these smaller bounties will do it, I'd say about 80, 85% of the time. Um, and if it doesn't work, you just do it again immediately. It takes two seconds to come over here, select boom. We're gonna select a single bounty and we'll get pause, right? What that's gonna do is it's kicking us over into a private server. We're gonna get a little bit of a cutscene. Now in these private servers, guys, your friends can come in, you can do whatever you want in there, res camps, do stranger missions, run whatever you want, um, and it's going to run smooth as silk. So I'm going to show you guys on the left hand side that we're in a full server. And then it's just going to slowly kick us over, get a little nice fade in, fade out, boom. And now we're back in uh, Snow White days. So we're not going to get a time limit for this immediately. Um, and I'm not honestly sure how long it takes before the time limit kicks up. might be mission specific. But I think you get about maybe 30 minutes or so before you're going to get a timer for these bounties. Right? Um, what you want to do, guys, is just use this time to hunt, do whatever you want to do, stock up your hunting wagons. And the good news is, is that you probably won't even lose this server at the end of the mission whether you complete it or not. Um, these servers tend to hang around and it's based off of who started the server. In other words, so if I start this bounty mission and my friends join, um, I'll be, the server's dependent on me. So if I, you know what I mean? If I leave, then they're gonna be kicked, uh, then they'll be kicked out and over into another server. It kind of ends that private session. Um, so what you want to do guys just hang out in the private session for as long as you want and if it does end go over to a bounty board You're gonna start another one as you can see Frank is really fast at skinning these deer. This isn't sped up at all. This is just Frank on coffee going buck wild uh, <laughs> um, But I can't tell you guys how easy this is to do how quick it is to do you can see how fast it is We just kind of head over bing bang. We're jumping right into it right now a cool thing about this method is is you can you're rebuilding your camps you're start you know stocking up all your materials and things like that while you're doing it but you're also running a bounty mission to the extent of the you're going to run it out on the length of time and as you know rockstar pays out more money toward the end right so while you're doing this you can either let these missions run out completely to the end and never complete the mission and then you'll probably just be left in the private server because it's just going to end and you still have all your animals there's no transition screens or anything like that um, or you can finish the mission and get a, you know, some gold and some extra money kicked back into you. And then you'll probably still stay in the same server anyway. So do what you got, whatever you guys want to do while you're in here. But keep in mind that if you want to finish the bounty mission, you will get kicked over some gold. Cause that is the one thing we're lacking in, in, in these kind of, um, trader missions and collective, uh, roles, things like that. So we're not getting the gold. So I think incorporating these bounty uh, boards with these private servers coming in here, doing this kind of thing, is a beautiful way to kind of offset all of, uh, of everything that you want to accomplish as far as your money uh, making goals. And um, you guys, I think you're going to love it. It's, it's been a huge help to me to go back to enjoying the days of Red Dead where it's like uh, hunting and fishing and crazy experience of a game that's just in a world where uh, the animals are seeming to go extinct uh, I really want to thank you guys so much for checking out the channel this is a great little trick we're gonna be keeping these things coming for you guys like I said use this to fix your camp 
use this to fix the animal respawn issue and then if it doesn't pop right up for you guys just go right back rinse and repeat and it's going to work 85 percent of the time i love you guys for checking out the channel man subscribe ring the bell the whole damn thing uncle frank is back and we'll see you guys real soon